Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at how we're going to get this Illustrator file into After Effects as separate shape layers. So let's just dive right in. Going to pop over to After Effects uh, and then just drag my Illustrator file from Explorer into the project window of After Effects and that will prompt a dialog box. Now you have two options in this dialog box. You can either import as footage or as a composition. We're going to want to import this as footage, which seems counterintuitive, but it's actually the best way to do it. You can choose all of your layers to be merged, or you can choose to import an individual layer from your composition. Don't worry if you choose merge, this doesn't mean they're going to be locked. This is the whole point of what we're doing. Um, so just choose footage and merge layers and hit OK. And that's going to drop it in as an Illustrator file. Let's just pop this into a composition. And you can see now that we have our composition here, um, Kirsty.ai. And if we right click on this, there's two ways you can do it. You can create shapes from a vector layer. What this does, unfortunately, is just dump all of your shapes into a single layer, um, which have groups in them consisting of each individual part. Maybe what you want, and if it is, that's great. You can stop watching now. Um, but if it's not, because you can't separate these out, um, then there is another way to actually achieve this. If you right click and go to convert to layered composition, what this will do is it will create a composition for you inside of which will be an illustrator uh, layer file for each of your layers. So essentially all we've done now is replicate this with all our separate layers inside of After Effects, but they're not shape layers yet. They're still illustrator shape layers. So all we need to do to that is right click and you guessed it, create shapes and vector layer. And there you go. Go through, select all of your illustrator layers like so, get rid of them. We don't need them anymore. And delete. And if you want to save some space, you can actually even delete the original composition now because all these are 100% After Effects shape layers. You can go in here, you can add new points, you can shape them around. It's absolutely what you want. And this is perfect to now animate. Each individual element is separate and it's a shape layer that you can do all of the usual After Effects goodness with. And that's really all there is to it. Um, it's very simple. It's just hidden away in the menus there. So I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, that's great. If you didn't, let me know how I can improve. Uh, and the best place to do that is on our Discord server, uh, the link for which is in the description below. It's a place where all you lovely tip tutters can just hang out, chat to each other, ask questions, share your art. Um, I hang out there sometimes as well and answer your questions. So it, I'm well worth checking it out, I think. Uh, but apart from that, I guess I will see you all for the next tutorial. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.